Today is hey everyone, like so I am here with a long, and I will have time to do overdue it. empties video. Except it is like so overflowing. Let's There's just like jump right in seat to my bathroom. Go through my with. trash. <laughs> like every empty video. <laughs> so boring. I went through a box of Q tips. I went through two new Chidina makeup wipes. I went through a shampoo and a conditioner. This is the L'Oreal Color Vibrancy Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. And I actually liked the. I don't know if it really did much for my hair, as in, like, color-wise, because I do color my hair, but, um, I'm trying to get it back to, like, a natural color. I actually really like the color it's appearing on the camera right now, so, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, I really like how this made my hair feel. Um, as long as I keep dyeing my hair, I'll probably repurchase it, but I don't want to keep dyeing my hair, and I have, like, those big, um pump sized shampoo and conditioner going right now so by the time I get through that I'll probably be done coloring my hair I mean who knows but um this is actually really good and it makes your hair feel really nice I went through the Neutrogena clean pore um face wash and this has 3.5 percent benzoyl peroxide so it really did nothing to help my acne um it did nothing I wouldn't repurchase it if you don't if you're if your acne is surface acne, it's very slight, then this might be nice for you because it's not too drying. But if you need your cleanser to do something for you, then I don't recommend getting this one at all. I have two body washes here, and these might be some of these items you might have seen before, but um, they're in this pile of empties. And they're both from Bath & Body Works because I work there. And this is the Cashmere Glow Body Wash, which I think smells really, really nice. I do think it's um, more of like a winter scent, but I did enjoy the shower gel. And maybe I'll try it out in the winter time if I go through all my stash of shower gels. And then this is the Pear Blossom Air. I have another one of this. It's not my favorite smell. It's just, you know, it just smells like standard cheap. But I mean, this isn't cheap. It's like twelve fifty for shower gel. But again, I work there, and I think I got this during the semi annual sale. But um, it's just pretty a pretty standard smell. I don't know where to go next. Okay, I have a couple of lotions. Um, by the way, this one. I don't think I'm gonna do a project you set up update because, well, it's probably too late for that, but I think I'm just going to go jump right in into a project pan soon, so I don't think it's time to update it, but I did finish the lotion, which, I mean, it kind of doesn't look like it, but, um, I can't get the lotion that is on the sides, and it's, like, literally nothing. This was all, like, what I could do with my finger, but it's, um, it's empty, and, um, I probably wouldn't repurchase it because I work at Bath & Body Works, and I get lotion, so I don't need to repurchase the body shops because they're competition. This was the Victoria's Secret Ravishing Love Body Butter. This was okay. It's not something I would repurchase. The smell was really nice, but it's just the formula for the price. It's just not... I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but I just wouldn't repurchase it. More lotion, body charm, body collagen charmed apple. This smells like green apple. Bath and Body Works smells something like green apple. That kind of smells like this. I think body collagen is kind of like the knockoff version of Bath and Body Works, just because it is more affordable than Bath and Body Works. Because let's be honest, it's a little pricey for lotion and sprays. I'm not gonna lie, but um, I received this as a Christmas present, but I probably wouldn't purchase it again for the whole reason. I have a lot of body lotion. Um, where else do I go? Hand cream. This is the Balm d'Amour. This is also in a project Use It Up. It was okay. It didn't have the best smell. It was all natural products, which I kind of enjoyed because, you know, less chemicals. But um, it did have a short life expectancy, and surprisingly, it takes me forever to go through hand cream. So, not something I'd be interested in purchasing. I finished up the Dermal Blend Long Wear Makeup Remover. I thought this was okay. It was a cream makeup remover, but if this got in your eyes, it stung like hell. So that's the only thing I really didn't like about this, but um, it was okay. I got it in a sample from all the like beauty sample bags that you get during Christmas time, but it's not something I'd be interested in purchasing because I do prefer um, oils because they don't burn your eyes. 
This is a KMS Free Shape Quick Blow Dry. I, this was a freebie as well. Um, you just shake it up and you spray it in your hair. And it helped dry your hair faster when you used a blow dryer. And I found that it did. I even found that um, it helped make it more curly and wavy. It's not something I would repurchase. I think I have something else similar like this. But um, I just wouldn't repurchase because I don't use a blow dryer on my hair ever. I just let it naturally dry. So, oops. I just dropped that. <laughs> okay. Two random home samples. These are two Bath & Body Works wallflowers. This was in Tiki Beach and this was in Sundress. I could just... I could just... Oh, this smells like Tiki Beach. Tiki Beach is my favorite. Um... Hmm, I'm so sad that the season for Tiki Beach is over. I do have a couple of backups. I know the semi-annual sale, they have like the little duo packs of Tiki Beach and I think I'm going to pick some up just because I am obsessed with the smell. And then this was Sundress. Um, it came out like for the springtime. It smells, uh, it smells really good. I feel like it reminds me of sitting on a porch on the East Coast and watching the sunset go down like the typical John Sparks. John Sparks? Is that his name? The one that wrote The Notebook and all those sappy romantic books. This is what it reminds me of. It's something I, I think I'm going to get the candle in this. Or another wallflower. I'm not sure. But they are going out of season and that makes me very, very sad. I went through the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I don't know if I like this or not. I liked it because it made me, like, it made my skin feel moisturized as soon as I put it on and mixed it in. But when I was using this, it made my skin extremely, extremely oily. So, I don't know. Maybe it'll work again for the winter months. But because my skin has been changing, because I keep changing my skincare to find something that works with my problematic skin, um, I don't know if I like this for when my skin isn't ultra dry. But I do kind of miss it for the days that they are, my skin is dry, but I have managed to find other products and it's just not as oily. So as much as I want to love it, I know that this isn't good for me. Like it just doesn't work for me. Maybe in the winter time because they always like, like an Ulta, you can always get these for free with the Tarte purchase. So we'll see if it works throughout in the winter time, but in the meantime, it's not something I'm going to purchase. Here is the L'Oreal Youth Code Dark Spot Corrector Serum. I didn't think it did anything dark spot wise, to be honest. Um, I just ended up mixing it with the oil and the moisturizer when my skin was really dry because it just didn't work as a serum for me. So it's not something I would repurchase. Um, I have a couple of perfume samples, it looks like. I have the Victor and Rose Flower Bomb. It was good. It smells like marshmallows and it's nice and sweet, but this is something I would prefer wearing in the winter time. So maybe I'll ask for another sample. I don't know if I would purchase it. So we'll see. This is a DKNY My New York. I really like this smell. I don't know if I would repurchase it just because I do have a lot of perfumes and body sprays, but it is something I would consider if I didn't have so many. And then lastly, I went through Prada Candy Le O, and this is just the floral version of Prada Candy. I don't like the version. I thought I used to like it, but I guess not. <laughs> so, um, I just prefer the regular Prada Candy, not like the floral version. Okay guys, we're almost to the makeup, I promise. This is the Ojean Advanced Treatment Oil, Rare Blend Oil. This is just like a sample vial. I didn't like this. It did make your hair shiny, but it still made it feel dry. I like serums that, you know, that makes it feel soft at the same time while it makes it feel shiny, not just one or the other. So, since this only did one, it's not something I'd be interested in purchasing at all. Ooh, let's see. What more do we have left? Okay, this was, this was a sample of the Peter Thomas Roth Glycolic Acid Face Wash. I really, really like this. You could feel it working instantly. Right now I'm using the Mario Badescu Gentle Glycolic, glycolic Acid uh, Face um, Facial Wash, and I don't like it. And I kind of really miss this. This was the Mario Badescu 
enzyme gel face wash. I didn't like this. I ugh, hated this. And then this is the Shiseido Ibuki. Ibuki. It's like the deep cleansing one. This made my face feel squeaky clean and super dry right after I used it. So it, um, I'm glad I got a sample of this because I would not purchase this at all. Okay, guys. Now let's move on to like the little packets and the makeup stuff because that's the fun stuff, right? Um... Makeup packet wise, makeup packet wise, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha. I went through two Smashbox photo finish primers. I really enjoy this primer. It's kind of expensive, and I feel like the baby skin does the same. But every time I get a packet of this, I enjoy using it. I usually get like two uses out of these packets each, so I really enjoyed it. And I wish I could get it for free, but you know, that's not realistic. I went through the L'Oreal Evercream Sulfate Nourishing Shampoo. I did not like this. I found that it made my hair really greasy, so not something I'd be interested in. You know, I don't have luck with the L'Oreal like Evercream, like the sulfate-free system. I just don't. I don't like any of the products that I have tried so far, shampoo and conditioner-wise. Um, I went through the Body Shop Tea Tree Facial Wash. I... My skin was going through a really, really bad time, and I decided to use this, and I found that it got worse. Like, it was just getting worse, and I don't think this, like, specifically made it worse. It was just, it just didn't do anything. My skin was just getting worse. So, um, I mean, I wouldn't opt to trying it if I ever got a sample, but it's what well, it didn't do anything amazing, so it's not something I would repurchase because it didn't do anything. I went through... The L'Oreal Color Vibrancy, like, um, instant shock treatment, um, didn't do much. It just, the conditioner feels better than this deep conditioner. Um, I also went through the Revlon Buttercream 2 Week Blah Blah Blah. This is just, like, stuff that comes, like, the little packets that come with box hair dyes. And I just use them when um, I run out of conditioner, because I always run out of conditioner before shampoo. Let's move on to the makeup, which is a little more exciting. This is all I have left. I went through the Real Techniques um, sponge. I like this. I have another one going, and I feel like I want to go back to the Beauty Blender, just because I don't remember how well it performs and to see if it's worth to keep buying these, because I like these. But they're not the best. I mean, it's good for my pocket, but I kind of want to go back to the Beauty Blender. Kind of. So I have another one. This is just like a gross used up one. It's nasty. So that can go in the trash. I also went through the Nivea Lip Butter and Caramel Cream Kiss. Um, these last freaking forever. I'm not going to lie. I use this as like my night lip cream and the one that I use like as I'm getting ready. Like, I just use it at home. I really enjoy this. Um, I have bought the Vanilla Macadamia one again, but yeah. I went up through Urban Decay Sin Primer Potion. We went through the Jordana Best Lash Extreme, and guys, I don't think I like this anymore. That's just it. I don't think I like it anymore. That's all I'm going to say. I finished the Estee Lauder Pink Ice Eyeshadow that I would use as blush. That which was in my Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. I finished the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I, ugh, I don't know if I like this one anymore either. I have um, another one going right now. I have another a full one open and then I have another one that's about to run out. And I don't know if I still like this, guys. My Just because my skin and my foundations are changing and... You know, when my skin was at that really bad time, I, this just was not helping it at all. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, I guess I'll update you guys when I go through the other ones. And last but not least, I have the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss in Anna. It was okay. It was a really bright color. I'm glad I keep go. I can go through these quickly. I still have a couple left um, to go through, but... Um, yeah, I would just like apply it at work. It's not something I'd be interested in purchasing ever. So, just moving it out of my collection. Alrighty guys, so those were my empties and uh, I will see you guys all in my next video.